Hi guys, and welcome to episode 11 of My Road to Glory. I'm Vic, and as you can see, we have now completed our initial starting 11. Uh, ben Arthur was the player that we were picking up, Newcastle and French, uh, best friends with Kabai, uh, so they link up perfectly with 9 chemistry each. Uh, Kabai also because he's linking with De Jong and Orden Wingy. Um, so we have, that is the look of our 11, we've got Utaka and um, Noor uh, who as well, so they'll be sort of rotating, there's no there's no pick above the other with those, there's just four, four strikers and three positions. We'll start firming up the rest of our team soon um, and we need to add a manager at some point, um, that'll be very soon. Um, that will purely be, be to get us up to the 100 chemistry. Uh, the important thing with manager is formation, so we'll be getting a manager in that formation. Uh, ben Arthur cost me 600 coins. He's a right wing when he should be a right mid, but you have to get what is available, and that's what was available. And a very good price, 600 coins for a 5 star skiller. Um, here are Ben Arthur's stats. He is a really solid all round player. Uh, four star weak foot, five star skill moves, and again he's a left footer on the right wing. Um, so he can cut inside and hit some big shots. Um, he's fairly quick, uh, but his main thing is control, his skill, his vision, uh, and his weak foot. Is, that's all the exceptional things about him. And so he slots in perfectly, and like I say, when we get a manager, we'll have 100 chem. Um, so we get drawn against this team, which is a Premiership Silver team. Uh, Angog, or Ango up front, um, who is awesome in FIFA 12, as is Chamberlain, and well, everyone in this team actually, you know, he's got a really, really good silver team. Probably worth 70k, maybe 80, 90k. Good team. Uh, and he gets... Um, a one goal lead um, we managed to get one back with Odin Wingy top bin um, that was a, a bit of an awkward goal it'd be a booed goal in real life because uh, you can see the guy laying on the ground we just carried on playing ref didn't say a word we didn't give him monkeys there's snow on the ground let's play football um, but yeah, we scored basically because <laughs> their defender was laying on the floor. So Anyway, he gets back in it with uh, Miyaki, who I think is an Arsenal player who hasn't found his way into the team yet, but he's got good stats on FIFA, so I've seen him in a, quite a few people's BPL teams. Um, after some messing about, some poor defending, let's Utaka in for a little slot goal. I don't know how everyone else feels, but I, I really struggle on snow. There's, it really limits your play style. You can't, your crosses are awkward, you can't get the ball over the top. Um, it doesn't seem to have an effect on skills or anything. It's, it's, it's I don't know, playing on snow, don't like it. Which is, um, you know, it's good coding to be fair, because you're not supposed to like playing on snow. Bad conditions should make it awkward. So it's a good piece of work by FIFA, but... Always a little bit annoyed when I get drawn on snow. Um, and so we go in half time, 3 2 down. Um, a cracking bit of strength by Martins. I did the, the your little uh, right button hold down as you're receiving the ball just to let it through his legs. Um, if you don't do it too often, that seems to sell the dummy to a few defenders every now and again, which is great. Uh, but yeah, don't overuse it or else they're just going to read it and take it off you every time. And it's a really loose way to lose possession really. Just to let it through your legs and let the defender run off with it. It's not good, but a couple of game you get away with. Um, he gets one back with that Spurs midfielder. I don't know who he is, I'll be honest with you. Another Spurs player that hasn't really broken into the team that's got good stats anyway. Um, big Afemi gets up. Gets his big noggin right on the centre of the ball. And that flies into the top bin. Uh, just a trampy little header. What more can you say? But a very big header because 
we really needed that. Like I say, this guy's got an awesome team and he was a very good player as well. And we finished full time at 4 all. As I've said, guys, I'm always going to be doing the extra time in pens. Um, there's a lot of messing about here and I've probably sold him a dummy, to be honest. Um, but in the end, he goes and clicks draw and I click time and pens. So um, that didn't that worked out as a draw, I'm afraid. Um, 574 coins. Our DNF is still absolutely shite. Um, I don't know what I can do about that at this stage. Just got to keep playing games. Um, I have a little bit of an idea. Maybe you could put in your comments. I was thinking about doing... Um, well, I'm definitely doing in the next episode a fast forward. Um, I'll, I'll come back to this. I'll just tell you about this guy's team. Look at the state of this team. I had a little workout. This guy's team's worth maybe 140k. Um, something along those lines. Marlos is worth between 80 and 100k alone. The centre forward there, the striker there. Um, five star skill A. He's probably known as the best silver in the game. Um, the rest of his team is good as well. He's proper old fashioned Brazil this team. Um, yeah, ugh, nightmare. We, we're a 14, 15k team, tops, maybe less. We do not want to be playing 150,000 coin teams right now. Um, and it shows in the result we go. Two goals down. So the next episode, guys, um, the transfer window is going to be open. And what that means in my road to glory is that I um, am going to provide this club... Uh, through the chairman, two gold packs. So we're going to open two gold packs, and whatever we get, we get. Um, and you will see the rewards of that. So if hopefully we'll get something worth selling that will make some coins and buy some people, or we um, might get a player that slots straight in or something. We'll see. Just look at the draw. That's transfer window, guys. Um, and that is coming in the next episode. Um, and yeah, I've got another surprise that I'll lay on you next episode while we're opening opening those packs. Um, as you can see, this wasn't as bad a game as the result looked through the stats there. Um, I've been Vic. I hope you've enjoyed this. Look forward to Transfer Window next episode. Cheers. Bye.